Hey everybody, Red Diamond Too Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Samir Bob Nani video. Rich guy, fat shames, homeless man. Uh, let's get into it, guys. Hey man, can you spare me some change? Uh, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. But you are so disgusting. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't eaten anything. <laughs> it feels like you can eat anything, whatever comes in your way. <laughs> you won't even spare insects. Oh God, I am so disgusted. Hey man. Wow. So? Why would I say this? Just look at yourself, man. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror? You think he's better than everybody, obviously. You are so fat. I can't even look at you. You can't even sit up straight because of your belly and fat thighs. Look around these rappers. How did you afford those? Did he uh, say you got on the street because of your belly and fat? Like, what the heck? These are all leftover what people give me. I need a few bucks to eat something. You look like a gentleman. With your dressing, one can make it but out. He a lot Clearly, he not. Clearly, he not. A few bucks won't affect you. Will they? Yes, you are right. I am. I am rich. But I don't feel like helping you. Just look at yourself, you fat prico. Your body structure is pathetic. Fat and pig. obviously, you can't even unfold yourself because you can't even move. How did you live with yourself? Well, I can't do anything about my obesity. This is a disease. That's why I'm asking your help. I can't afford even meds for my disease. Hey, man. Please help me something. No man, sorry. I don't want to waste my time and money on you. You need to get up and earn as busy. Just let him go. Don't ask him. I can't move with these legs and fat belly. Unlike you, I have an interview. You have already wasted my precious time. People like you wait months to talk to me. You fat hippo. I oh, can't wow. move in this condition. That is why I'm in the street. He definitely you. got it out for fat people because he uh, constantly keeps talking about fat people. People for money. I don't want to hear your excuses. You can use your body for some good use. To crush some granite or something. You work fat so. Wow. Oh my god, it's you. You are stinking. When was the last time you had a shower? Obviously, you know he homeless. He go walk fat so. Oh my god, just you. You're stinking. Like, what the heck? And there's so people walk from here. Why are you spoiling everyone's day? Just be from here. Otherwise, I'll call cops. You mean the people who are going for the interview to Francis and company? Are you also going for the bun? For the post of a senior lawyer? Wait a minute. How do you know this? You fat hippo? I've been watching the people. He called him, he calling him a fat hippo. But he know he know a lot about the company. Dress like you. I'm going before you. They said they were getting late for this job. Then I asked one person. And it was a kind enough to tell me about this company. Now I'm sitting in front of this man. He, he know that he getting laid from the from his job? In gates of the company. And I assumed that you were also going for the one too. Hmm, you are such a fool. I don't know why I stopped to hear your crap. You homeless Look, punk. He, he, well, I met the CEO. He ain't know he knew that. that. He's a very humble person. He always lends me money. And his employees are also humble too. This Francis and company gets me free food. Also. Humble? Tell me more about him. Like what are his hobbies? What does he like? Anything you can tell? Well, all I know about him is that he loves giving charity. And his company gives a lot of points to the NGOs who work for the poor like me. <laughs> Don't be so clever. I know you will say anything to take this note. Forget it. Oh, he just it hey. You could have given this to me. What are you gonna do? Fight me? Chase me? <laughs> Look at yourself, you poker. Hey man, can you spare me some change? I have not eaten from the last two days. Hey man, don't give him a single penny. He's a liar. He'll try to lure you for some bucks. Nah. Hey man, relax. He's just a homeless person. And he's got this disease. How in the world can he lure you or damage you in any way? You don't know this clever fat prick. <laughs> he tried to convince me that you don't know him either, but you're making assumptions about him. He knows the CEO of Francis and Company. <laughs> Do you really think that this fat 
knows the CEO of Francis and Company. Don't help him, bro. I don't need his help. I can help him anyways. You should thank God that you are not in his place. Right. Come on, man. A few bucks won't hurt you or me. Right. But they can surely be of great help to him. Oh damn. Uh, I'm I'm so sorry, man. I don't have any change. Uh, I'm so sorry. But uh, what if I come back from my interview and pay you on my way back? I hope Francis and Company must have an ATM inside. Thanks, man. And you better think of working with me. I can pay you good money. You know, we'll place you. Ah, he want him to work for him. Okay, okay. A cash counter where you can sit and work easily. So do think about it. Now I got to go, ah. Huh? Wait, Francis, are you going for an interview at Francis and Company? Yes, man. For which position? Well, uh, I'm going for the post of senior advocate. And you? Good luck, mate. I'm going for there. He going for the same position, but he ain't about to get it. Look at his attitude. Two for the same position. And honestly, don't waste your time. Do you even know who I am? Well, uh, look at him. He, he thinks he's better than everybody. He's like, dude, I'm gonna get it. You don't even waste your time with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one to get it. Here, I'm the famous advocate who worked for the James Automation. You must have heard about this. Well, I'm the he ain't know who you were. Success. You will surely get rejected yeah. when they see me. But you can work for me. I'm a rich person, and I can pay you. You can open doors at my office, or you know, maybe drive or something. Oh, that's great, man. I haven't heard about your company, but you must have great experience. But we should avail every opportunity, shouldn't we? Hey, man, what's your name? Uh, I'll be back in an hour. I hope you'll be here only. Where this fat so can go? <laughs> well, where can I go from here? My name is. Francis, and I'll be here for another two hours. Francis, Francis? what? what? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> he can't be the CEO, right? He had to be testing them, cause he probably wanna know which ones are the good people that's in his company, and then like he wanna get rid of the bad ones. You are not CEO, right? Yeah, I am the CEO, Francis. I'm sitting here since morning. My secretary is doing the interviews inside the building. But we need honest, humble, and helpful people. Yeah. Uh, That's why I'm sitting here uh, myself to have a ground check. Oh my! I I don't believe you. Are yeah, you, you do. He believe him. Look at him. He he get, he getting scared. Look. Fool or something? Why would you ever do this? Well, I wanted to extract the true personality of my employees. Maybe that is the reason that we are on the topmost of the networks of the most successful companies. It's not because of our achievement, but because of our behavior towards our clients and the normal person at every level. Oh, uh, what's your name again? Uh, sir, my name is uh, Tony, sir. Tony. He took a picture of him. Hey, Anna, I've sent you a picture. His name is Tony. Select him for the post of senior advocate. Uh -huh. I'm he got the he got the position because that's that's who he want to be in charge. To be him over to you for the other official formalities. Uh, Good way, attitude. How much we are offering to our senior advocates? Sir, twenty-five thousand dollars per month. Ah, twenty-five thousand dollars. Double it. Double it. Ah, okay. I'm done for the day. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down, sir. Looking He'll forward. be making thirty thousand dollars. Sir, sir, please, sir. sir, sir, listen to me, sir. Tony got the job, and Richard lost the opportunity because of his arrogance and overconfidence. If right. He had and look, he gonna say, sir, listen to me. Nope, nope. He he saw what you showed him already. Helped Francis and gave him a few bucks, he would have gone the job. A true character of a person can be judged in difficult situations. We should treat everyone with kindness and respect.
regardless of their class, race, or physical appearance. Richard fat shame Francis, which is a very bad habit. It can affect a person mentally, cause depression, and lack of confidence. Even if we want to okay. advise someone to eat healthy or exercise, we should choose our words very carefully. We don't know how much the other person is suffering, mentally or physically. We should always help people around us and be kind to everyone. A few bucks won't affect us, but they carry great weight for the needy. And like Richard, we should never be arrogant. Even if we have great achievements in life, we should keep working yeah. hard and stay humble. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.